in today's video we are going to repair a leak that I found I guess it's been over a week ago now it should be a very simple fix so here we go let's go for a ride here right now I'm just gonna pump this down I'm, I'm gonna oops I'm gonna disconnect this blue right now and we're going to pump down by pushing in the contactor i have her on i have her on emergency heat right now and she had her thermostat set on 80 degrees is hot for me I was actually out here about a week ago I insulated this line and there's a line on the inside under the air handler that I insulated I also changed a I also changed a capacitor on the inside we were just doing a tune-up and I found it slightly low on Freon And I did a leak search now. And I'm going to take you, shine a light on what I found. And y'all are going to, y'all are going to agree, I think, that this might be a common place for these to leak. down I'm going to I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna I'm gonna have to open one of these and we're gonna run nitrogen while I do this repair we're fixing to go in and do that all right so that's what I found that oily spot right there so we're gonna tidy that up Thank <laughs> you. 
we're gonna fix this too. Right now we're pressurizing. I'm going to we're going to go. Oh yeah, that's really high pressure. 368. I'm gonna let that settle out just a little bit. Alright, we're going to Alright, we're going to start it right there. We are fixing to pull a vacuum on this.
So the wireless capability on this is turned off by default. And as you see, I'm slowly pulling down right now. We're getting into a deep vacuum. <clears throat> We're almost at 500 microns. It's been less than like 20 minutes, but when I get to this level, it starts moving slowly. <clears throat> As soon as I found out they came out with one of these, <clears throat> I knew I wanted one. So far, I'm really, I'm really happy with this. I set this up this way so that I can valve this off before I release Freon. I like to release Freon before I replace those shredder cores. All right, I'm down to 419 microns. So what I'm gonna do is valve it off right here and watch that for a little while. If I have a if we have a Height system that should not rise more than just a little bit and right now you see it's not rising at all no my microns are not rising at all that's pretty good that tells me that older coil in there does not have any leaks. Now to show you how I'm testing, I have my I have my vacuum pump valved off. But this and this are still open. So this is open to the line set. I have no Schrader depressor right here. I put this screw back in here so that this won't rub and cause a leak right there. Just for a little while. 
let's look and see what our temperature drop is. I've got a 19.1 degree temperature drop. 19.2, that is really good. But it's kind of cool outside, so that may be a little bit misleading. All right, we're at 429. That's actually my head pressure right now. We're running in heat at 80 degrees. It says it should be 426 on your high side. We're at 430 right now. I'm sorry if that video was short. And y'all forgive me if I left a drop on my solder joint. I wanted to mention something. You can now get these. There'll be a link in the descri description to the merchandise store. I'm having to, to develop all that stuff myself along with everything else I do. So there's not a lot of stuff there yet, but those are there. Check it out. I'll catch y'all on the next one.